Welcome back for another episode of Let's Talk. I'm your host, Brittany Freeman. Today, I am joined by a Merrimack Middle School seventh grader, Miss Kiana Morano. How are you doing today, Kiana? Very well, thank you. And I want to dive right into why you're here today. Kiana actually is going to tell us a little bit about a great organization, a, a nonprofit that you might have heard of called Locks of Love. This is an organization that I hold dear to my heart, as you can tell. Got a lot of hair back here. And Kiana, even though she's got it up in a bun today, she's got quite a bit of hair too. And she's been a part of Locks of Love, I think, for quite a while now. When did you first cut your hair for Locks of Love? It was when I was really little. Um, my sister started the whole entire thing by growing her hair out. My mother found out about Locks of Love. Actually, we went to a salon and <laughs> the salon person asked if we would like to donate hair to Locks of Love. So we said yes, and that's how it all got started. Wow, and so you, how many times have you donated? Probably about four or five. Four or five, that's pretty amazing because for those of you that don't know what Locks of Love is, it basically takes the hair that people get cut and um, it donates them to people. The number one group that it's donated to are people with alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease that basically affects 4.7 million people in the U.S., which is quite a, quite a yeah. lot of people. And that's a disease when your hair follicles fall out, so you lose your hair. And this can happen at all different ages, and unfortunately happens to quite a few people that are way too young to be going bald. <laughs> and so thanks to a lot of people out there, including Kiana, they can take that hair and use it towards making wigs, and it can give them so much more confidence because it can definitely hurt the self-esteem sometimes when you're maybe in middle school or even elementary school and you're bald and kids can be cruel these days which I mean bullying is big anyways I mean yeah. kids will bully you even if you have your hair so I can only imagine what it would be like to not have your hair and the number two causes cancer which again cancer can happen at any age and does cause children to lose their hair because of the chemotherapy and radiation and all the different treatments that are involved and you were telling me was it your grandmother that did, did, she had to wear a wig didn't she yeah she um she got cancer and she she was a very very sweet lady what she tried to do is she wore wigs because she thought that she would scare us being so little that we would be scared by her head and it's just a really, really sad prospect when you think about it. Someone who is not comfortable with who they are or what they look like, and they have to hide something no, from absolutely. everyone else. No, absolutely, and unfortunately we do live in a society where people do care about what other people think, and people will have not the greatest perception sometimes, and they don't really know what is involved with the process. They don't know why people might not have their hair, and I think it's just horrible anyways. People should be able to rock out whatever they have, and <laughs> if they want to be bald, be bald. And, you know, I, I think that's horrible that people do judge, but it, it can make a big difference because if a person has lost their hair, I'm sure if they are wearing the wig, it does give them that confidence because yeah. people aren't going to look at them and say, you know, why is she bald? You know, if she has hair, yes. you, you blend in with everyone else. So yeah. it, it, it does make a big difference for people. And there are different ways to donate. I was surprised. I went on to their website and I thought it was just you cut your hair and that, that was it. But I saw that there are different ways you can obviously cut your hair like yep. you've done. What's the minimum length? Um, I've done 10 inches, but the highest that I have done is 14. Wow. So you have to grow it quite a bit yeah. to be able to do that and still have some I'm hair left over. And you are about to reach your next point of cutting, correct? Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, what we're going to do is we are going to go to whatever salon we can that has the program. And we're going to cut 10 inches off of my hair and hopefully help someone who actually needs it. Were you saying you're going to do it around the last day of school? Yeah. Or are you going to do it before or after the last day of school? 
I'm going to do it before. So are you going to have the new hairdo for the last day of school? Yes. <laughs> so it'll be a little bit of a preview for what you're going to look like going into eighth grade. You could say, this is the new Kiana. This is what it's going to look like for next year. So a little bit, a little bit of a preview. And some other ways people can obviously donate yeah. financially. You know, they could, everyone takes money. <laughs> and then I saw that there's also an, another way that you can plan an event, which I thought was really cool because yeah. I love events. I love going to them and organizing them. What are some ways, have you kind of thought about an event that you could do for Locks of Love? Yeah. Um, I was talking to my mom just the other day and she's just like, what about a dance-a-thon? <laughs> Very exciting because you are a dancer. Yes. What kind of dance do you do? I do ballet, jazz, and point. So you definitely know how to dance. So oh, I yeah. think I think people would have to watch out if they put money on you for a dance time <laughs> because you would be able to dance for a long time. Yes. You could raise a lot of money for them. How would that work if you put together a dance a thon? Do you know? Um, haven't really gotten to that point yet. But. Wow. Well, I think you should stay on that yeah. track because that would be a lot of fun. I know I would come boogie it out. And it, as far as salons, I thought, which was pretty neat, if you're going to donate, you were telling me that they'll give you a free haircut. Yes, I will. And are there, I mean, not specifically, but are there salons in this area that do that program? Yes, there are. Wow. There's so quite a few. So right here in Merrimack, there are salons that you can go, you get a free haircut, and you help out a great cause, which is a win-win because I know the last time I got a haircut, they were pretty expensive to get a haircut. So <laughs> definitely a win-win situation. And then as far as another thing that we were talking about, which I thought this was kind of neat. I thought she was a little crazy when she first told me that she makes dolls out of recycled material. And I first thought, wait, now, because you have a friend that's been on the show, Brittany Wigdorski, and she makes um, duct tape flowers and to, to help a charity and so first her friend's telling me that she does the duct tape flowers and then I'm like okay I got the same friend over here and now you make recycled dolls which I think both are great but can you tell me a little bit about it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what I do is I take any kind of bottle that I can find, a milk carton, um, a plastic water bottle, I cut the bottom off and what I do is I normally make them after a birthday party or Christmas because that's whenever there's a lot of paper around. But I also do make them out of newspaper sometimes when I get bored. <laughs> wow, now all joking aside, that is such a creative idea. Now, is this something that you think you could do to raise money for Locks of Love? You could sell yeah. them? Yes, I could. Um, it would be really, really fun too because <laughs> Hey, who doesn't like making arts and crafts with recycled yeah. material? I think it's a lot of fun. And you also are a Girl Scout, which I think is pretty neat. Could you do an event possibly with your Girl Scouts, do you think, to help with Locks of Love? Yeah. The Girl Scouts, um, we do a lot of fundraising for a lot of different companies and whatever really needs help. But... We also do do some pretty fun stuff, other than just raising money. Oh, of course, but you could probably bring it up to your leader that maybe Locks of Love could be one of the yeah. organizations that you help. Um, something I wanted to know was, have you encouraged others to participate in Locks of Love, or do you plan on it, and how do you think you could, you know, someone that's watching the show right now, how do you think that you could encourage them to participate in this program? I think that all you really have to do is think about the people who aren't as fortunate as you are. I mean, it's all about selflessness, really, is what it is about. Um, Just putting a smile on someone's <laughs> face, that's, yeah. I mean, you, to see a smile on someone's face I think is worth its weight in gold and that's yeah. what doing good things is all about when you get down to it just being a good person and helping others if you do that what more can you ask for well thank you so much for coming on the show today Kiana it was a pleasure having you thank you so much for talking about this amazing organization and we'll see you next time on let's talk